Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? Uh, I'm Stacy, and I'm getting ready to do a, uh, look at that, not wanting to adhere. I swear, these canvases are screwed. Anyway, I'm going to do a, um, an open cut pour. I haven't done one in a long time. And uh, I'm getting some pieces ready for somebody that's going to come by and look at my work. And uh, so I thought I'd do a couple of different, you know, versions and all that. And uh, these are using basically the same colors. And I think it's a momentous occasion, y'all. I think I have solved the glare problem on my canvas. And I did it in a very sophisticated and scientific way. I got a Hobby Lobby bag and opened one of the sides a little bit more and hooked it over one of the fan blades and moved it in front of that light. And it looks really stupid, but I think it's gonna work. Cause I was thinking I'd put something over the light and I thought, well, you know, that might start a fire or something. That'd be my luck. So I thought this might be a better alternative. So we'll see how it turns out. Fingers crossed. We'll see at the end of this pour. I think it's, I think I can tell it's already working. It makes it darker over here and I can plug in my tripod light if I really needed to. But I thought for this one, we'll just do it like this and see how it works. So that's some dots is in purple right there. Um, and this is some deco art uh, sapphire. I meant to get deep sapphire, but I didn't. I screwed up. It's okay. I've got some um, phthalo blue going to come in too. Um, okay. Um, we got blue, so let's put a green. How about this? This is Deco Art Emerald. I like this color. Uh, it's my, I like two greens the best. Well, three. I like, I have a hard time narrowing it down. I really, if I want a dark green, I like the um, Liquitex Thalo Green. Um, if I want, um, you know, a different green. I like that lime green by Liquitex. Um, I like it a lot. It, and in, in fact, I put a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit of it in, in this one. It just makes things really pop, you know. It's really good if you need a pop color, you know. And this is some crimson. Um, I normally, for red, use Master's Touch Primary Red. Um, but I wanted to go with something a little different for these last two pours, so I've used this. And I really like it. To me, it's almost a vermilion. Um, but I really like the, the color. And this is some, um, Master's Touch Viridian, uh, which is kind of a seafoam green color, I think. Um, and I really like it, too. Those are selling up really nice. I like it so far. Now I got... This is, I usually, I almost always use 24 karat gold by Decor if I'm going to use gold. But this time I decided to switch it up and go with some Artist Loft Old Gold just to be different. And uh, I don't want to put the lime green next to the gold because they're both kind of light colors and it doesn't do them justice. So I'll put some more purple in here and then put the um, lime green on top of that. That'll look better. Okay, my tilted canvas is exerting its power. Okay. I'll probably have to just move the whole canvas, turn it around um, to stop that from happening so bad. Is really a problem and I should try to fix it um, I'm sure that I could if I tried like I just finished saying on my last video there's a way to solve any problem when it comes to art it's just a matter of you know um, figuring it out you know ask around uh, you know uh, get some help look it up uh, whatever, um, and I just haven't taken the time to do it. I'll put some more emerald in now. 
top of that blue because I love the way blue and green looks together. Now let's see. Still got lots of colors to go. Lots of paint here. I probably poured a little much, but I like to have lots when I'm doing these because, um, I just do. I just like to be able to kind of pick and choose what I want um, to save and what I want to pour off. This is really pretty though, I think. I think it's going to be nice. Okay, let's see. Going back to that conundrum. I don't want the gold next to these light colors. I'll have to put another dark color. I think I have a little bit of something left. A little bit of purple left. I'll just use this one because that cup's so near the edge. And I'll put the rest of the gold. I almost a little gold. I'll just put it in here. What the hell? Okay. pretty. I always like to kind of wisp mine across. Um, it makes less of a, you know, a big break in everything. So it's not so obvious where you pulled your cups off at. Those are really beautiful cells in this one. I love it. Right over here, especially look at that, that's beautiful. All right. I've been painting a lot today. I miss painting. I've been working on my glass and stuff a lot. And um, because I have trained some windows and some other big tall windows in my living room and they're uncovered. I don't have anything on them and I thought, that's crazy. You know, I make all this stuff. I'll at least have some in my house. And besides that, I can't go to the farmer's market right now. So, you know, I've got tons of material, you know. Um, when I can't go back out there, I've got plenty, you know, new stuff. So I thought I ought to make something to cover those windows. And um, this one has awesome cells, y'all. They're just all over the place. It's just beautiful um, cell-wise. They're just... It's crazy. It's beautiful. Um, anyway, so I've been working on some big windows to cover um, in my living room. Uh, I want um, those, I have big, tall, vertical windows. So I'm going to put a big, a large piece in each one of those that's going to go high up so it doesn't block the view of the window because I have a beautiful view of a pasture across the way. And uh, I don't want to block that. Um, but um, I do, uh, I do um, want something, you know, in that window. And um, then there's transoms on the top um, that are um, really pretty. And um, I'm just pouring some paint off right now because I had a lot of paint on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, for the transoms, I'm making uh, oriental magnolia branches are going to come across the top. I mean, all through it. And um, then um, for the um, I wanted some more of that blue green up here, but I think I'm not going to get it. So that's okay. This is pretty. Anyway, uh, for the other ones, I'm just doing different designs. Um, I got some bevels 
Glass Castles, the glass shop in town, has just recently gone out of business, and they're friends of mine, and um, they had big sales on everything, and I got some really pretty uh, bevels, and um, I see a gunky right here. Gotcha, gunky. Got that one. I hate those little things. And my flow trial right now is not strained um, because um, I don't have, uh, I don't know if those are cells or exposed canvas, so I'm just going to dab that on there. Um, I don't have uh, something to strain it with. I need to go get like some, I just left Walmart. I should have gotten something when I was in there, but like uh, some pantyhose. Um, that's my favorite thing to strain it with. Um, and uh, I should have picked some up when I was up there, but I didn't. I was, I'm always so, so in a hurry to get out of there. I can't think straight about what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, that's beautiful, I think. It's very different, but um, and kind of wild. Lots of colors, but um, I think it's pretty. I'm going to torch it again. Um, anyway, that's my favorite thing to strain my flow trial with. I just put it over the uh, spout to the flow trowel with a rubber band and um, that works really well because it makes it where you can just pour it straight out of the bucket and it's strained already. I haven't done an open cup pour in a long time. Um, I like doing them. You never know what you're going to get. Well, I mean, you never know what you're going to get with any pour, but they're always really surprising to me, unusual like. This one is no exception. I think it's pretty. Um, I especially like that viridian with the red over here. Um, I think that's really pretty. And the blue and green with the red. Um, I don't normally mix blue and red very much. Um, I don't know why. Um, I just don't. But uh, they look pretty in this one. I, I wish some more red cells would pop out in here. Um, because that's really pretty. Come on, red cells. There's a few. Not many, but there's a few. I believe in torching. I always torch. I'm gonna add, yeah, add some more stuff to it though, cause I like to have a big old flame. Uh, I believe in torch. I believe in silicone. Um, not everybody does, but uh, I do. I think if it helps, use it. And it's clear that it helps. I don't think anybody can argue that silicone doesn't, you know, doesn't make cells. It makes cells. So why not, you know? There's a lot of people that brag, oh, this one's no silicone out and no silicone. Well, okay. Good for you. I use it. I like it. Listen, look at all those little bitty cells over there in that little patch. That's really wild. Over here on this right side, they're really small. I knew what we're looking for, but I like it. And the funny thing is, I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, an obvious thing, but uh, it's always interesting to me um, how you can use the exact same colors in a flip cup versus a swipe versus an open cup. And you're going to get three totally different results. You know, they don't even, you know, you can't even tell that they are the same colors when they mix. You know, because you get other colors made and stuff. And um, 
it's just like I was saying last time because I did last time and well both of the last times and this time I've used the same basic colors almost I mean a little variation but pretty much you know blue red green black and gold and uh, my results are absolutely different couldn't be any more different so let's see if my shroud no it didn't work I still see that it's not dark enough it's not I mean it helped there's still just a little glare it's not like it was but uh, anyway what do y'all think uh, I think it's really interesting I might have to get something thicker maybe a if I can find a paper bag uh, that would help that would probably be thick enough I'll have to figure out some way to secure it up there, though. Look at all these little bitty crazy cells. Look at that. It's wild. Dude, that's beautiful, too, right there with the green and the... That gold looks yellow, which I don't like. I didn't want it to be uh, yellow, uh, but it looks yellow. Especially on camera. It doesn't look that yellow... Uh, to me, but uh, on camera it looks just like yellow. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't want yellow, but it's still pretty. Uh, that's beautiful right there. That looks like the ocean in an aerial view. Um, that's pretty. Right there. I don't know. It's pretty. I think. Um, I hope y'all think so, too. Um, more than that, I hope you enjoy being here um, and uh, listening to me prattle on. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's videos. I have several that I post, I'm posting today. I haven't got them all up yet. One of them is up. The other two, uh, I got to wrestle a computer away from my son to get them up. And um, by the next time, I'm going to solve this um, glare problem. It's gotten on my last nerve. So I'm fixing to figure something out. And, um, I'll be back with y'all. I'll do at least one more video tonight and get them posted. Um, but I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much. Stop by and let me know what you think. Uh, or tell me what you're working on or ask me a question or make a comment, whatever. I love it when y'all stop by. It makes my day. Y'all have a good one. I will, uh, oh, and stay safe from the storm. They say it's moving in. I don't know how bad it's going to be because I don't watch the news. It's nothing but depressing stuff on there. I know when something important is going to happen, my mother or my husband will tell me what it's about. So, I just let them filter through it for me. But um, y'all stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.